Hey, what is happening people? Welcome back to the channel. TJHD here back with another awesome video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to upgrade the older version of MacBook Pro's RAM to 16 gigabytes so it goes crazy in terms of speed. As you guys can see, I have 2012 MacBook Pro with i5 and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Because I've been doing a lot of editing for YouTube and stuff like that lately, I feel like it's about time where I upgrade some part of this MacBook so I can keep using it for year 2016 as well. After doing my research, I was able to find out that doing an upgrade on RAM itself should be good enough for me for next 3 to 4 years, let alone 2016. So I wanted to go all out and do the highest upgrade for RAM possible which is 16 gigabytes currently. I also found a very good deal online where it was a lot discounted than the regular price. I will leave the links to that deal down below in the description section for anyone who's interested in that let's get down to the business make sure that you guys have all the required stuff for this project using the appropriate screwdriver you can take out all the screws from the back part of the macbook pro and once you're done with that it's really easy to open up the back compartment once you're done with that make sure that you know where the screws came from and you have the information about where to put them back once you're done with that optionally you can unplug the power that goes down to the circuit board just for the hazard problem i did not however do it taking out the ram cannot get easier than this i was able to do it using one hand all you need to do is just the supports that are keeping them there you need to pull them towards different directions and it'll come right off. You'll have to do the same process twice for the RAM that's underneath this one. It's about time you bring out the new RAMs and put them where you got the old ones from. So the bottom ones first, you press them down, you hear a couple of clicks, that means it's all set. The same thing's happening for the top ones. Once you're done with that, the project is all over. Make sure that you install the RAMs properly the very first time so you don't have to come back and do it again. Once you're done with that, make sure that you screw everything back together into one piece and make it look as nice as it was in the beginning. Now you're ready to turn on the laptop knowing that this laptop would be the best it can be with that 16 gigabytes of RAM for next 3 to 4 years. This wraps up the video. This is TJHD here signing off. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.